Hi everyone, my name is Raymond. I'm back again for some more The Legend of Zelda. I think today our number one goal is to beat level one, to get the first Triforce. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Okay, yeah, we are starting over because I kept hitting retry in the last episode, which resets everything. So, yeah. Okay, well. I'm dying. Help me. Shoot. Okay, let's let's get out of here before I start talking. Ooh. Well, okay. Um he said Everyone I know just tries, just like brute forces this game without looking anything up or, or using the manual. Um, I call cap because I'm sure a lot of people look everything up, which I don't want to look stuff up. I kind of want to just use the manual, pretend it's like actually 1986. Um, unless it becomes like overwhelmingly frustrating to figure things out. So, okay, now I can actually use my notes. So I think these skeletons are called Stalf Stalfos, um, according to the manual. Um, and I know one of them in this room dropped something, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he has a key. You can see the key hidden in his body on one of them. I didn't notice that last time, but he's got like the key literally lodged in his gut, which is kind of disgusting, but... Now we know which one we need to kill, but I'm going to kill all of them because they might drop a heart. Give me that key. Yes. Ooh, okay. We definitely need that beam for the boss fight in this, um, this level. I mean, we don't definitely need it, but it's going to make it so much easier. Um, because the boss is called Aquamentus. He's like a dragon looking thing. And he shoots three balls of fire. Okay. We don't need to go in this room. Um, we go up. Okay. Hopefully these guys give me another heart. More rupees. Okay. I will try not to say cash money and sick as much in this episode. Okay. All right. So if we go to the room to the right, we'll find the compass according to the manual. So let's see if that's true. Yep. But there's a bunch of bats. I don't know if they'll hurt us. I don't think I've ever gotten hit by one of these guys, which is surprising. I don't want to find out. Oh gosh. Seems kind of unfair that they get to move diagonally. It's like cheating. Oh gosh. Okay, so the compass shows us where the Triforce is, but the manual also tells us, so just read the manual, Dom. Just kidding. I love you if you're watching. Also, I got some comments about how the audio was extremely loud. Um, or the music, so I think I should be able to fix it this time around. Yeah. 
Oh, and I apologize for the parts where that really loud edited music was. So, <laughs> I thought it was funny, though. Okay. Oh, and these guys are called gel. It's like slimes from Minecraft. There's a bigger version of them that splits into these smaller guys. I also learned that from the manual. Okay. I am not doing so hot. But it's okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you guys about that. So, this is how you open this door. is by pushing this block. Um, I read that in the manual. And then the merchant should be in here. Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. I'm guessing that's where level two is. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I didn't know it was bad to hit him. Okay. I guess I should have figured. You still mad at me? No, apparently not. Okay. Bruh. need to start being more careful. This is supposed to be the like most basic easy level. So if I'm getting hit this much, this could be a sign of issues to come. I bet he's actually kind of happy that I dislodged that key from his like entire body. Ogres or the Garitas, Garias. I don't have my beam, so this might be, might be tough. Ooh, I'll say it. That was cash money. Ooh. Okay. The incessant beeping of me about to die is also very annoying. Okay. Sprint. Okay. My friend Connor said when he watched this, he was dying laughing because he said, I did the right thing by pushing this block. It's just you can only push it once. You got to push it the right direction. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. So is this 2D? I don't understand. Yes, it is 2D. That's weird. Okay. Well, it's it's always been 2D. It's just a different perspective. That's what I meant. Can I still... I can still poke my sword in the air. Okay. I just can't go up. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I want this guy to not kill me. Also, someone said I can save the game. Um, I looked. I, I did look that up. I didn't read that anywhere in the manual. Um, like, I can save it right now, is what they were saying. Um, to my understanding, you can only save upon death. And the game tracks checkpoints, like, every time you finish a level. Okay. I don't even want to mess with this bat. Okay. Well, he might give me a heart. Wait. Let me check. Hopefully they didn't respawn. 
they did. Okay. I'm risking it for the heart. continue and see what happens I, I should to my understanding I should start at the beginning of the dungeon okay with three hearts okay and I keep my rupees did I keep the bow though oh I do and the compass okay this is much better than I thought I thought like once you died, you lost all your items, but no, you keep all your stuff. Okay. Run. I wanna go. Oh. I, I need a key. I just don't know where another key would be. Maybe they have a key up here. No. Nah. And hope. Ooh, what are you? I think she. That's a fairy, and she'll restore all my hearts. So I might leave her here. To, okay, she doesn't stay. Okay, never mind. But that's good to know. None of these skeletons have keys lodged in their bodies, which is sad. The key is like the size of Link. Like, pretty massive key. Like how did how did the key end up in the skeleton? Did he eat it and then die and then decide to fight in a dungeon to destroy this dude? Name blink. Okay. I'm a hundred percent certain. I think I even wrote it down that the dungeons provide a, enough keys. <gasps> yep. Okay. When I walked in there and just saw bats, I was kind of like really confused. In this next room, there should be more baby ogres with boomerangs. And after I beat them, they should drop the boomerang. Um, okay. They don't stand a chance now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I shouldn't speak so soon. Sick. Okay, that's only been one sick and one cash money. So I'm I'm still I'm still cool, dude. I'm I'm unstoppable now. I heard, I did read the manual that you should alternate boomerang uh, sword because the boomerang freezes your enemy. So if like you boomerang them, and you uh <gasps> oh oh. This is the wall creeper. You just have to stay away from the wall. I should have read that before I came in here so quickly. He will drag you. He doesn't kill you. He just drags you all the way back to the beginning of the dungeon. Okay. So we have a key. Um, okay. The next room is the boss. And the manual said to aim at the head. And avoid his three bullets. Or his fireballs. And he will drop another heart container for us. So let's do this. 
Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so focused right now. Oh, yes. Dude, look at that. We have four hearts now. Okay. So there shouldn't be any surprises in this next room. It should just be the Triforce. The first segment. Out of eight. Yes. Yes. Dude. Look how happy he is. I feel like we're really we're more prepared for the world with our boomerang now. Oh, it, it just it totally freezes him. So it doesn't do any damage. It just causes him to stumble. Like my good looks. That was a bad joke. Okay. Um So the uh, maybe I should have talked to the dude one more time. I'm going to go talk to the dude. So, that's it for this episode. I did a little bit more, um, but I decided to cut it because it was just me wandering back through the dungeon to see if I missed anything. I didn't. Um, so, next Monday, we'll head on to level two. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully, the audio was a little bit better this time. Uh, love you guys. Bye.